All right, welcome in everyone. Welcome back. Uh, I want to do a video today about the Crypto.com app and credit card and some things I found useful and ways I think that would be helpful to think about it. So I'll go through some uh, pros and cons of the app and the card. At the end of this, if you think it's worth it, check out my uh, referral link. You'll get 25 of the Crypto.com crow coins and so will I. So hey, win-win there. Um, but yeah, just wanted to get into it and give you my review of the Crypto.com app and card. So let's go. All right, first off, let's talk about the Crypto.com app. And specifically with this app, let's talk about the pros. Um, it has a pretty good interface. It allows you to track, buy, and sell crypto and to see your balance. It's uh, easy to transfer crypto in and out. It's pretty easy to transfer crypto in and out from other exchanges. Um, I transferred from Binance and Coinbase, and it didn't take too long. It wasn't too hard. They have really good returns for um, staking coins. Uh, right here, this is showing the staking amounts if you have the $4,000 crypto card. So they go up and down um, based on the card you have and the amount of time your term is. You can see the flexible one month, three months at the top and the 400, 4,000 or 40,000 more uh, correlated with the cards that you could have. And these percentages of return are annual, but they're paid out weekly. So your 6% of the crow coin there um, would be paid out over 52 weeks. So if you're like me, I have a decent amount of Bitcoin and Ethereum and I want to make passive income on those. With this app, it makes it really easy to put those away, earn a percentage, and the, the percentage you get on those is in the token that you're staking. For example, if you're staking Bitcoin, every week they'll pay you in Bitcoin for just holding your coins in their app. It's really easy to convert US dollars or US dollar coins, um, and you can get a, a, an even better percentage for staking that. So. I like to, uh, instead of just holding my dollars and dollars, uh, you can hold them in USDC or USDT, uh, uh, US dollar backed coins. So they track with the dollar's value. So one dollar is always one coin. Um, and you can stake those in the app for a very high percentage. And I like to think of this as like a savings account. Um, if you have some money you don't aren't gonna need to touch for three months or one month or even just flexible, just holding it in here, you can get paid uh, weekly um, if you just have any U.S. dollar coins. And it's just a few clicks. You can convert it back to uh, U.S. dollars in your fiat wallet and, and get it out if you need it for anything. As long as it's in, uh, as long as you're past your staked time or if it's in the flexible staking amount. And an another pro that just came out recently is they're allowing you to direct deposit into the app. And this is just a really useful tool, and I think a really smart move by Crypto.com to allow you to deposit a portion of your paycheck um, and be able to invest it. So, for example, I have a 9-to-5 job, and I've uh, deposited a portion of my paycheck to go into my Crypto.com account. With that money, I can invest in cryptocurrencies very easily or top up my card. Um, and as a little kind of sign-up bonus, if you do this before... Uh, March 16th, if you make a deposit of over $400, you'll get $25 worth of Crow. Just kind of a nice little sign-up bonus there. Um, and when you sign up for the first 30 days, the uh, there's no transaction fees or uh, extra fees for your credit cards. Now, on to some of the cons for the app. Um, in the U.S., it's only an app. There's no website, so it would be kind of nice to be able to log on to a website and check your accounts and everything like that. Um, it can be buggy or laggy. For example, uh, it had me try to complete a two-factor authentic authentication again and again, and um, it was getting stuck. I had to reach out to their um, to their customer service, and eventually the issue just went away, but it was probably an hour or so that I, I wasn't able to into the app. It's pretty hard to add money into the app, at least from a credit card or debit card. A lot of banks uh, don't support 
transferring money into there. So I tried linking a Chase credit card and a U.S. Bank credit card and a U.S. Bank debit card, and none of those were having any luck, uh, like transferring money. It would just, <clears throat> it would just kind of get bugged out and not go through. And some research I did showed that that's because the uh, banks don't approve of this app yet, so it's very hard to do that. Um, if you do use a credit card, if you are able to link a credit card and top off your account or transfer money in, outside of the first 30 days that you have the app, there's a, a decent fee associated with filling up your, your card on credit. So originally I was thinking, oh, I, I can just earn a percentage on credit from another credit card, pop it up to this credit card, earn another percentage, and you're just getting more bang for your buck. Um, but that's that's not the case. They, they figure that one out. Um, one negative thing about the app is you can buy and sell crypto, but it's all at price. You don't, you can't put in um, any sort of advanced orders like you could on a, maybe on Binance or something where you could put a limit order and say, if it gets to this price, I want to buy, or at this price, I want to sell this amount. That option is not available at the time being, as far as I know. Um, and that would be nice to have if it would be kind of like being able to have everything in one place, your, your investments, your money, your credit card, all that, and being ha able to have that in advance capability would be really nice. All right, now on to the card. <clears throat> the Crypto.com card um, has a lot of different possibilities. There's one that is zero dollars and one that's four hundred thousand um, dollars but the way you need to think about this card is as an investment and i'll compare this card to the chase sapphire reserve a lot in this video just to kind of give you an idea of uh, comparison to a to a, a bank's credit card but uh, depending on the amount of money you want to invest in this card um you need to, and, and this is what I did, you need to really watch the price of the native uh, crypto.com token, which is Crow. Um, I was able, when I first learned about, I did some research on, on crypto cards because I wanted to use, get something that would give me a percentage back that I could invest in crypto because I think it's going to be a, a, uh, a booming market in the future of, of uh, money at some point so I wanted to do that and when I first looked at the card it was at about 30 cents uh, the crow token was at about 30 cents and then immediately after they unveiled the news that it was going to be the crypto.com arena the uh, old staple center where the Lakers play um, and it shot up to almost a dollar and I was I I was exercising a lot of patience to wait for it to get back so I recently uh, got back in at around 33 cents. Um, I think 33, uh, 30, 40, e even under 50 cents is probably a good price point. And all so I just wanted to uh, take a second here and show you, kind of compare the Crypto.com uh, Jade card and the Chase Sapphire Reserve card. So the uh, Crypto.com card costs $4,000 US dollars and you have to stake the Crow coins. Um, and the Chase Sapphire Reserve card is $550 annually, uh, but you get $300 back in uh, credit, travel credit each year, uh, which is kind of like a net of about $150. So let's break it down a little more. Um, as I said, $4,000 of crow staked, and I'm just going to use my example here because I got in around, around $0.33 cents as the price of the crow coins. So $4,000 of crow at $0.33 cents is about 12,000 crow. And this, these are the benefits of the crow coin. And what I want you to see here, not only is there Spotify and 3% back on purchases, but the 10% crow stake rewards um, is a big one as well. So uh, your $4,000 gives you about 12,000 crow. Um, your US dollar value for that is 4,000. And that 10% 
uh, is about 400 bucks a year you'll get paid back and weekly they pay you back so you get about seven dollars and sixty nine cents a week paid back in crow but now let's look at where crow is today so it has gone up 10 cents a coin um, at that 10 cents your 12,000 crow are now worth five thousand one hundred sixty dollars and your weekly payment is increasing to nine dollars and ninety two cents a week in the crow coins and I'll link this uh, article here, but it has a few different price predictions for where Crypto.com coin will be by the end of the year. Uh, I like this one because it makes my numbers nice and round, but it's predicting by the end of one year, it might be around $0.99 cents per coin. And after, uh, after five years, it could rise up to $2.01. So I want to look at those possibilities. So let's assume now it's the end of 2022 and the price of crow has gone to 99 cents a coin. Um, your original stake at this point is now worth $11,880 and every week you're getting paid $22.84 for just holding on to your crow. And, and that amount you've wrote up from $7.50 about and it's compounding and, and just adding more um, more wealth to your to your wallet there and finally let's assume that their price predictions were correct you've held on to your original stake in crow and uh, in a few years it gets up to two dollars and one cents at that point your four thousand dollars will be worth twenty five thousand dollars and you'll be uh, earning fifty almost fifty dollars a week in the crow that you're getting paid out um, this is the big reason why I say you have to think about this this card as an investment, not just a, not just a purchase. There, it's not like the 150 bucks a year and, and you get the benefits. Um, you need to think of it as investing an amount 400 or 4,000 or, or zero, whatever you're comfortable with, um, and riding that as as far as you can. Another pro of the card is compared to a credit card, when you spend the when you spend money on your card, um, you get the benefits back right away so i have the jade green card you get three percent back um and over the last weekend i would i would use apple pay i actually haven't gotten the physical card yet but i would use apple pay to pay with the card and right away if i check the app i would immediately get three percent of that purchase back in crow coin and i know the price will go up and down crypto is very volatile but uh, there is the chance that you buy a big purchase when Crow coins are at 50 cents and you cash out at uh, when it's at maybe a dollar. So in that case, you would essentially that 3%, like $3 on the 100 bucks you spend would be worth six, which is kind of nice compared to what regular credit cards can offer you. Um, other benefits of the card, at least the one I have, is you get free Spotify or I should say reimburse Spotify and Netflix. So... Um, as long as you change your uh, Spotify and Netflix account to uh, be charged with this card, you'll immediately get reimbursed that amount in the Crow coins. Did in the Royal Indigo Jade Green card here. <clears throat> so I just wanted to show the benefits of owning the other cards. Midnight Blue, you get 1% back, but none of the additionals. Uh, the Ruby Steel costs $400 of Crow coins staked for uh, six months. Um, that gets you Spotify 100%. The Royal Green and Jade, Royal Indigo and Jade Green gets you 3% Spotify and Netflix and this airport lounge pass. Um, and then if you have $40,000, you get 5%. Amazon Prime's included. Expedia, you get 10% back on that. <clears throat> and then airport access. Uh, I'm not sure what Crypto.com private is, but it sounds pretty cool. Um, earn bonus rewards and exclusive merchandise welcome pack. Uh, and then if you have $400,000 <coughs> to invest in this, uh, you get the most benefits, including private jet partnership. And then there's some uh, uh, free ATM withdrawals per month limits that you get here. 1000 bucks for the higher two. 800 for the jade green and indigo blue 400 for the red and 200 for the midnight blue and i just want to mention because i know it's on on my mind and maybe on yours 
Um, if you get in at a good price point and this coin kind of rips and takes off, like for me, if this coin goes to $3.33, I will have 10 x my $4,000 investment and will be able to upgrade to the next level card. Um, so just keep that in mind. Uh, if, if you, if you kind of really pick your spot, there's a chance that you could upgrade easily. Also use that crow coin to invest in other, um, crypto. So I think Bitcoin's, you know, the best one. I think it's probably the safest, uh, the least risky investment to have. And right now it's at, I think a good price point. So I'm, I'm trying to accumulate and, and hold at this point, but if you use it, it makes it just an easier way to get exposure uh, to to that. Um, some cons with the card are <clears throat> that it's not really a credit card. It's more like a top-off card or a debit card, so it won't uh, increase your credit score. So if, if you're looking to try and get a better credit score, um, get another card or get an additional card in, in, in uh, lieu of this one or in tandem with this one. Um, it needs to be topped off before you can spend it. And like I said, with a lot of credit and debit cards, it's really hard to uh, get money into the app. Um, I've been doing like uh, ACH transfers, but that takes two or three days and it's it can be a little frustrating if there's something you want to buy at a price point and you don't have the cash to purchase it um, to have to wait a few days to get it in. But like I said, they just allow direct deposit. And I think going forward, I'll probably have funds available in there. I'm, I'm going to put a decent amount of my paychecks into that to be able to um, spend it at price points when I want to or just dollar cost average into the, the crypto coins that I'm interested in. Or just buy U.S. dollar coins with my U.S. dollars and stake those if I know I won't need it for a while. I think you with with the Jade Green card you can get like ten percent on your U.S. dollars, so or U.S. dollar coins, which is a lot better than just leaving it in a, a normal U.S. bank account. Yeah. So thanks everybody for watching. Uh, if you're interested in more on the on the crypto.com card or app let me know leave comments and uh, any suggestions that you'd like to see in the future um, if if you got some value of this like and subscribe to the channel and if you want to uh, go and get into this app yourself go ahead and click my link I'll post it below in the description thanks a lot for watching have a great day bye